All right. Nice, beautiful day today. Taking the chopper out. Just cruising down my street, my neighborhood. It's about 5.30. 85 degrees. A little cloudy out, which is nice because that sun's not beating down on you really hard. Alright, gonna cross over on Leonard Road and watch this asshole blow right through this stop sign and cut me off. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh my gosh. So it was like a late model Chevy truck and he's towing some kind of a off-road vehicle. Keep your eye peeled for this guy. Corner of Rainier and South Bell Court Court. This is Walton Road, just east of where it crosses over Leonard. It takes you all the way down to Indian River Parkway. It's about a two mile strip. I love this strip though. You gotta watch out during the rainy season because it floods out really bad. Yep, looks like we're getting some rain. Well, that ain't nothing new. Every time I take the damn chopper out on this road, it starts to rain anyway. But if you look up in the sky, you can see all those spotty clouds there, and they're just kind of dropping a few little rain mists. Nothing too bad. The road feels pretty tight right now. Well, this is something new over here. They put a stop sign, actually a three-way stop on the corner of Indian River Drive, and... Uh, where Walton Road hits it. I remember Indian River Drive from, oh, better than 10 years ago when I used to sit at my kitchen table in the middle of the winter in February looking at four feet of snow on the ground and I'd have my laptop computer open and I'd be driving along this road. Uh, it, it reminds me so much of a road uh, where I grew up uh, out east in uh, San Remo called Riviera Drive. Indian River Drive is the same thing. It just kind of meanders along the waterway. It's really beautiful, really picturesque. Uh, a lot of old history here. Uh, but I tell you what, people speed, man. They have like no no conception of, uh, you know, do the right thing. Watch out, you know, watch out for others. Um, so once in a while, you know, you see some pretty bad wrecks on this road. And, you know, these wrecks aren't just like accordion crunches. These are wrecks where, you know, the vehicles, because they're going so fast, they lose control and not paying attention or texting or whatever reason. And they flip out right into the water and end up, you know, upside down in the mud. Speed markers, yep, that's something new. They have these speed markers here, so you can tell how much you're breaking the law by the faster you're going, the more you're breaking the law. <laughs> now on here on the left, you've got the Walton Scrub Preserve, which is actually connected to the Savannah's Preserve State Park. Uh, we'll show that to you on the way out, on the way back. Uh, and of course to the right, um, you really can't see just a couple of glimpses of it is the uh, Jensen Beach to uh, Jupiter Inlet Aquatic Preserve. Very cool. So we're headed north on South Indian River Drive just passing uh, Palms Cemetery. That's the next big um, place over here. Oh, there goes another one of them damn speed signs, electronic. I already done paid a lot of tickets here. On the right side, there was uh, Grady's Land Yacht. Temporarily closed for a while, but uh, very cool. And another speeder. Oh, look at that, 26 miles an hour. Oh, it was actually legal. All right, I'm gonna bail out here. Let's take a quick tour of what we got going. Uh, one of those dilapidated old houses over here on uh, Indian River Drive. It's probably great in the heyday, you know? 
but uh, yeah, it's starting to get a little cold, a little dark, so I think we should be headed on back to uh, that chocolate milk house. And we got your Trump signs up. Well, as you can see, we really didn't do too bad from the hurricane. Uh, we were really lucky this time, otherwise you would see still broken trees, broken branches, all kinds of nonsense along here, you know. The road's a little slick, but the chopper's got real good rubber on it, and it's got such a low center of gravity that uh, you don't even hardly even feel the, you know, uh, the hydroplaning or the slip, and it just grabs in and bites, you know, which is one of the reasons why I love this um, little bike so much. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my video. Uh, it's just a delight to share this with you. Uh, there's so much out there to see and so much, so much uh, things happening. So many people got their eyes closed or their blinders in front of their eyes, you know. But uh, just enjoy, enjoy the ride, and uh, you know, thanks again. Try to support my channel, and I can do some more videos like this, and even give me a couple of requests. I'm, I'm, I'm up for the challenge. Route 707, yep, that's what it's called, South Indian River Drive, headed south, it's called 707. Really not much happening here, it's quiet, you just got a few houses on the side, maybe one every acre or something like that. Uh, the street's coming up to pass by uh, Ohio Street, and then it comes Harris Street, and then there's a little little place called Ridge City or Ridge Circle on the right here before we get up to our stop where we're gonna make a right turn back onto Walton Drive but it is beautiful just just a beautiful ride here it's so interesting to look up the history of everything here you know when it was first paved or how many renovations it did how many times it was you know, flooded by disaster. I like these curves in the road here. Whoa! This is what the chopper really, really excels at, man. It hugs the road. So much fun. Really so much fun. Uh, it's about a high tide actually now too, you know, so it would be cool if it was about eight hours earlier in the day and nice and bright and sun shiny. I'd like to get out there, but um, for now this is, uh, this is good enough for me. Well, here's the old three-way stop sign they put in. Usually there's a sheriff sitting on the right side there, falling asleep. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're headed back to the chocolate milk house. Hey, guys, give me a like, give me a subscribe.